My name is Ryan Carrington. I'm here at Jayco's Place Fine Art in Los Gatos, um, celebrating my show Made in America. Um, it runs from June 23rd to July 19th. Um, and a lot of people have been asking me about my both my chalk line series and my screw relief series. Um, and you know, one of the things that, that I do with my work is I kind of address the shift in public perspective of blue collar and white collar workers. Um, and, and kind of what that means. And in these pieces in particular, um, I'm addressing uh, kind of how high fashion has appropriated plaid um, and, you know, kind of the dichotomy that can exist there. Uh, these works then are um, almost basically to the thread count of Burberry. Um, so this is the Burberry plaid patterning, a uh, very recognizable high fashion pattern. Um, but I'm creating them using construction materials. And the way that I do the chalk line drawing here is I use a construction tool called a chalk snap line. Um, the way that that works is you make a string um, that has chalk on it, you pull it with tension. When you snap the line, you have a straight line. Uh, and so the way that I create these is I take a stencil and I stencil out all the vertical blue. Okay, so everything's stencil except for the vertical blue bars. I snap the entire thing, I take the stencil off, I fix it. It's on there. And then I put the stencil back on for blue horizontal. And I snap the blue horizontal. Where they intersect, you get a dense, a more dense patterning, just the same way the plaid works. Likewise, where the blue and the uh, black overlap, you get that color shift there. Um, and and I kind of, you know, I really wanted to keep it true to the thread count um, and keep it true to the the, the way the plaid works. Uh, I did the same thing down here in the screw relief um, where the gray vertical intersects with gray horizontal, you get the dense squares. And I was just really intrigued by, you know, in investigating plaid, looking at plaid, looking at Burberry and realizing, you know, that that crossing is what makes those blocks of color. Um, I really wanted to see if I could push that through using construction materials right off the shelf.